Hey everyone, Ben here. Jeff Bezos, billionaire and founder of Amazon, has invested into this exciting new biotechnology company, which I think could be a potential candidate for ARK Invest Genomics ETF. So this company has recently announced to be going public via what's called a SPAC merger. So before we dive into this company and see what is exciting about this company and why this could be a real game changer for the world, feel free to join the investing family by hitting that subscribe button and turning that notification bell on. If you do find any value at all in this video, even just a little bit of value, feel free to give this video an early thumbs up that helps out tremendously with the YouTube AI. If you do want to take things one step further and know exactly which stocks I'm buying, which stocks I'm selling, in addition to gaining access to my entire investment portfolio, then check out that first link in the description below for the VIP membership group. With that being said, let's dive in. So diving straight into this headline here, Jeff Bezos back startup Nautilus Biotechnology set to go public via a SPAC at a $900 million valuation. Now, for those who don't know what a SPAC is, it basically stands for a special purpose acquisition company. You can basically think of this as the new IPO. It's just a faster way for companies to go public in the market. Now, you may have seen a lot of companies going public recently in what I call a SPAC mania. But on this channel, Motivation to Invest, I only tend to cover the best of the best out of these SPAC stocks. So Nautilus Biotechnology is a Seattle-based biotech startup led by Iceland co-founder Sunjal Patel and is the latest company to go public using a SPAC. So the company plans to raise $150 million as part of a merger with Aria Sciences Acquisition Corp. 3. So diving into Aria Sciences, we can see on the announcement of this news, this stock has skyrocketed by 100%. So it went from around $11 and it skyrocketed by 100%. So now it's around $22 per share. So interesting, it shot up massively. Um, so yeah, we'll find out if it shot up for a good reason. Founded in 2016 by Patel and Stanford professor Parag Malik, Nautilus is building a combination of hardware and software to more accurately and efficiently quantify the human proteome. For those of you guys who don't know what a proteome is, and I admit I didn't personally know what a proteome was either. It's basically, you can think about it in the area of genomics. It's not genomics though, it's basically proteins. So if I dive into this definition here, so a proteome is the entire set of proteins that is and can be expressed by a genome, cell, tissue, or organism at a certain time. So yeah, I'm not a biotechnology scientist, so we're gonna try and look at this company from a high level in order to try and understand what problem this company is solving and what it actually does. So the 70 person company co-located in Seattle and Silicon Valley has an ambitious plan to change the way therapeutics are developed, seeking to catalyze a new wave of medical treatments. So basically these days, it's now relatively simple to analyze the genome using a drop of blood with companies like Illumina being able to map the genome at a very reasonable price. But the same can't be said for mapping proteins. Nautilus's secret source is the ability to crunch huge amounts of data required when reading a protonome and applying technology such as machine learning. So really this company is at the intersection between computer, data science and biotechnology. I also discovered in an SEC filing, the company has a lot of patents. So that does give the company some sort of competitive advantage or moat potentially if this company's research pays off. Now I'm researching this company as this information was only announced today. This is how fast I get this information out to you guys. It seems there isn't any SEC filing for the financial data for this company yet. But personally, I don't think we're missing that much because my assumption with this company is this is an early stage pre-revenue biotechnology company. So basically we're hoping that their research pays off massively for the future. And that is the risk of investing into these complicated biotechnology companies. But if you're going to invest into one of these companies in this game changing industry, then this definitely could be one of the best ones to invest into. So I recently watched an interview with the CEO and basically I'm going to play a few clips of that in order to give you guys a little bit more of an idea about the guy behind this company and what this company actually does. The very best that humanity can do today is about 8%, single digit, 8% identification of the proteins that are in the sample. And that's a really big problem for humanity. The genome has been great to advance our knowledge of how humans work and to understand our understanding of, to, to better understand life. But the genome is static. It largely doesn't change from the day you're born to the day you die. 
Whereas the proteins are the things that make up your cells that do all of the work in your body. And so there are the things that change dynamically in response to you being sick or you having red meat the night before. They're the things that carry the dynamic state of what's going on today. Number one was, this broad came to me with an idea that could measure almost the entire proteum, 95%, as opposed to 8% in blood. That's a huge, huge 10x advance where if we could if we can make that work, that'd be transformative to an industry and what is the largest industry in the world, healthcare. So you can see the CEO spoke about some very interesting stuff there. He has a background in big data, which could definitely help this company in the future. So what my final thought on this first look at Nautilus Biotechnology? Well, I think it's a very interesting company. It's in a game-changing industry, which could definitely change the way we live and help to cure many diseases in the future. I love the investing backers for this company. Of course, Jeff Bezos. There's there's also a venture fund backed by Microsoft founders such as Paul Allen. So very, very interesting investors are backing this company. However, what I don't like is the lack of financial data so far. Also, this is a complex biotechnology company. So basically, you're betting that this company's research will pay off in the future. So you're betting on that tremendous upside in the future. But in the meantime, it means the company could continually be burning money on research until it develops these products to actually work in the marketplace in the future. So for me, this is definitely one to watch. If the valuation does drop to really low levels in the future, let's say there's a market crash or correction, then potentially I may open a position in this stock. Now, I only personally have one high-risk genomic stock in my portfolio right now. And the only reason I have this stock is basically because they had a bad earnings call. Their stock plummeted by 55%. So I saw that as a great opportunity to get in there with this company. Now, the stock may still be down, so I'll leave a link for that video in the description below. I'll also link it at the end of this video if you watch to the end. So basically, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, feel free to join the investing family by hitting that subscribe button and turning that notification bell on. If you do want to know exactly which stocks I'm buying, which stocks I'm selling, and even talk to me directly about your own investing portfolio and investing decisions, then check out that first link in the description below, the VIP membership group. With that being said, I hope you guys are doing well during these crazy times and I hope you all have a fantastic day and I'll see you all in my next video. Invest safe.